Uh, why is this not working? Hello, by the way. Bear with. Ooh, I'm falling out. I'm not used to these shoes today. There we go. Got a bit of light coming that way, a bit of light coming at the north. There we go. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, I am knackered. I am so tired. Um, I got up quite early this morning. And I say early. It wasn't very early. I was yapping away to my mum for, for about an hour and a half. Um, and then I ended up going to Manchester. Hi, Chris. Yes, you are first. <laughs> oh, fresh. <laughs> oh, that's fresh. <laughs> um, yeah, so I went to a kilo sale today. I went to a £10 kilo sale in Manchester, which is rare as it is. <laughs> rare As rare as it comes. Hi, Mark. You're all right. Bon bonjour. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, I'm a bit tired, but I I spent sixty pound. I got six kilos, and I could have gone gone to the thing, left it a couple of hours, then gone back because they had loads of bags up at, like in this at the side, so they were constantly refreshing them, um, and I could have kept on going back, but I didn't. I just wanted to get in, get out, and I did. I, I did hit a couple of charity shops in the centre of town, and I did have a five guys for dinner but then I was like no I want to go back home I've got a video to edit I've got listing to do and I've got my fleek box so interesting story on the fleek front so I won that 100 pound at the reseller summit to spend on fleek I made three orders with three different merchants on the 2nd of April um they dispatched on like the 9th, 10th, and I got two. The, the third one this morning, even though it said it had been dispatched, has cancelled and it's a 50 pound box. Yeah, so I contacted Fleek. I'm gonna, I'm still waiting for a reply asking what's going on. Do I get that money back or do I get it in a voucher? So I'm waiting to hear what that they have to say. It seems everybody, no matter what, has always had an issue, whether it's big or small, with Fleek, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, is it any good? Do you know what? It's okay. I went the way you can go to this voucher business. I could have gotten, say, like three Carhartt jackets and then sold them for like 60 quid each or whatever. I wouldn't have got a lot, but you can go the quality route where everything's really expensive. So you get like one or two items which are overpriced or you can go the volume route, I like the volume route because if I sell, because at the moment I've got 25 and some of them are really vintage. Some of them are like really good. Uh, some of them aren't as well. So if, if I make net profit 10 pound in each one, I've made 250 quid, which is paid for the entire weekend of the reseller summit so that's good hi emma garvey hi kath hi george we're all here we're all here all the cool peeps <laughs> so yeah sorry I've, I've got iced tea in there and i'm just i'm so thirsty i put it's very the trouble is with five guys it's very salty i've had a team who delivery day i'm disappointed with nothing <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. These shoes, right? I've got some, I've literally, you know, not blue, blue, that I haven't got blue suede shoes. I've got pink suede shoes with ice bottoms. Look at them. Aren't they good? If you can see them, <laughs> can you see them? And they are cool. Uh, how did you win the tickets at the summit? So basically they did this like competition where you had to do something around community and all I did was like a little show reel of like people walking around and stuff and different parts of the summit. It wasn't anything like special. So I edited that with uh, a song in the background and it was like 19 seconds and it did all right. I did okay. It won. <laughs> did they get trashed in the rain? No, they weren't too bad. I stayed out of the rain mainly. 
Those are the best shoes ever. Hang on, wait, let me take them off. So when I did a, I did a round the house like walk just to say they were so comfy. Well, then when you're walking in Manchester in the rain, they'd start to pinch a little bit. Oh my god! Oh my god! I've, I think I've got a blister on my foot. I think I do. Oh, I've got a blister on my foot because there's like a little mark there. Anywho, but look at them. Aren't they? I don't know if you can see them. There you go. Pink shoes with white bottoms. Lush. And you know, I got them for 60% off. They were meant to be like 110, I think. And I ended up getting them for 50. But I got free postage. But I got um, top cash back of like, I think it was like 6% if there was an offer. And if I, I think it was like, if you spend so much, you get a further £2 credit to your account. So altogether, they came, it came to about £46. So I'm, I was like, I can have them for like a, a walking around the house kind of shoe. But I've already got a pair of Doc Martens like that. I've got my Fire Rabbit ones which I got cherry red bottoms. <laughs> Wait, what? It rains in Manchester? I know, I know. Size 13. No, the size 12. Size 12. Hi, Angie. How are you? Hi, Cameron. Good morning. Are they full of blood? Yes, I paid the price for these. No, there's just like a little mark on the, on the edge there. Can you see? There's like a tiny little mark there. Um... Right, uh, let me put them back on. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, I went to a kilo sale today. Oh, no, I can't put, put them on now. I've got to unlace them. Oh, anyway, I can take my shoes off. It's carpeted. My garage is carpeted. <laughs> oh, look at them. Doc Martens for, like, 48 quid. Brand new. Oh. So, yeah, I was looking pretty fly with my uh, pink suede shoes. Right, I'm going to go over what I got today because I think I got some good stuff. Um, I spent £60. And this is what I got. Oh, I got this. This is pretty cool. Straight off the bat, Iron Maiden. Sorry, garage. I know. Garage, garage. Um, it's the Europe 2018 Legacy of the Beast. Ooh. So if you like Iron Maiden t shirts, it is a Fruit of the Loom one, and it's a small, but I do, I never find Iron Maiden t-shirts. Okay, let's have a look. What's this? What's this? Oh, this is a Tour 2011 Paradox of something. <laughs> Dyer and Grey. It looks like a Germany kind of European brand. It's on a Gildan tag. Paradox of something Sean Retribution. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not big on metal bands. Mark, you might be a bit better than me. I got um, quite a few. I had to fight off a lot of students. There were so many students there. I was like, get out, because there was nobody there. I was waiting in this hotel, and if you know the Sasha Hotel in Manchester, it is one of the dodgiest hotels ever. Gorgeous docks. Thank you, Ready Steady Retro. <laughs> uh, I actually bought clothing today. What? It was a, a Gantt jumper. Well, I've got a Gantt jumper as well. Eight pound might be a bit expensive. I'll show you my one uh, in a minute. I can see it there. It's in there. It's like a coral pink colour. It's really nice. Um, in fact, now's probably a good time to put it up because they're kind of golfy. Like over here, a lot of people use the Gantt jumpers for like golfiness, which is quite good. Anyone put in a bet on Grand National? My dad's put a bet on for me. Last time I won a little bit of something. I think it was like 15 quid. And I went to pick up the winnings. I think my mum won £60 last year. So we, we all, me and my mum went together. And you know they have those slot machine things, those gambling little digital ones. I, I ended up winning £20. 
I think I put in something like I think I put a pound in and I ended up pound. I like, that me done. <laughs> I've won like fifteen pound on the Grand National, like twenty pound on the on the slot machines. I'm happy. <laughs> um, Hellfire Club, Ed Guy, Ed Guy, what's that? Welcome to the Freak Show, EdGuy.net. It looked bandy and kind of metal t-shirt and rocky metal. <laughs> Does anybody know this band, Ed Guy? <laughs> I've got three bets on. Yeah, I've got three bets on. I've just sold Hello Kitty Crafted. Oh, you've yes. So, Angie, I've got you. I've got you. In fact, I'll show you. I was gonna put. I was gonna put it in the post, but I haven't put it in the post yet because I'm lazy. Hang on, let me find it. It's only over here. I think you could probably get them anyway from where you are. Um. So these are what I got in London, exclusive to the Hello Kitty Cafe. <laughs> Pezzes. <laughs> I was just going to pop them in the post here and just they just turn up and you'd be like, what are these? Uh, so yeah, they, these will be on the other way. At some point this year, you will get these. <laughs> but I know you mentioned you love Hello Kitty and I know you do a lot for cats. So these are on the way. <laughs> when, I can, when I can... Put it all together. <laughs> I think I've still got your address on on uh, Facebook. Maybe not on Facebook, on Instagram. I think I've still got your address on Instagram, so I'll pop them in the post. But yeah, I got them. <laughs> I got them for you because I saw them. I was like, oh, they did cute them, and they're like from the Hello Kitty Cafe. I said, yes. Um, I was. It was going to be a surprise, but I thought, oh, they're here now. I might as well put them in the post. Because I know that you're going away soon, aren't you? You're going to, like, Israel, aren't you? So I don't know when. I They will be with you sometime this year. <laughs> uh, okay, next T-shirt. This is pretty cool, actually. It's got, like, no Commander and Store... What's that? Storage Breaker? Nordic Pirate. And then look at this. How cool is that? Fight Your Way, Commander Store Breaker. Is this a beer? But it says, it says, there's a there's a, a seagull. I don't think you can see it, but it's got an expletive there. I just I don't think it's got a date. Usually they hide the date in in the, like the image, don't they? But no, they don't think there's any date. It's on a tag called Rock. Is that Rock Mang? Rocking? I don't know. <laughs> But that's pretty cool, that. I just saw that and I thought that's pretty cool. If you've noticed there's a theme here, there is. But I've, I will switch up a minute in a moment. This is the last one. So I got this. This is on a Caballo tag. And it's like, is that Dias de Muertos? Dias de it's like It looks like the Terminator, doesn't it? It's the same print, back and front print. But yeah, I never find stuff like that. So when I'm at these kilo sales, I try and like, was a, I'm screaming. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're welcome. It's fine. You do a lot for you, for your cats. Uh, and I know you said that you really love uh, your Hello Kitty stuff. Who's going to win the Grand National? Oh, do you know? I don't even know. Not looked. I used to, but I lost interest. Yeah, same. I like to watch it. Uh, oh, I love you here. Well, I heard they have to stand up on horse to set off to be slower oh i'm angie's daughter stole her phone she's cheering right now you made her day oh it's fine it's fine are you going on the um the trip to israel as well because i don't i think i'll try and put them in the post but they usually it took quite it didn't take that long actually i think was it like two weeks it took to get from here to it was something like that wasn't there but yeah i saw them and they were <laughs> They were the uh, there was the they had a few other bits there, but like there was some like pezzes there, and I thought, oh well, pezzes everybody likes a pez, so <laughs> I got like two, I got a blue one and a pink one, <laughs> so they're on the way, of some time. Uh, same here, Chris. Used to be a workplace thing, so didn't even realize it was that. So I didn't until my dad said like when I was going out leaving the house, he says, oh, do you want me to put um. A bet on for the uh, Grand National. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is a Hugo Boss 
It's a vintage Hugo Boss shirt, and it's a bright yellow one. It's like a custard bright yellow. No, I'm not. Just my mind. All oh, right. Okay. Well, at least you'll be in the house to like take the package then, because I don't want it to be left on like your doorstep for. <laughs> I don't. I don't want the package to be left on the doorstep for like however long they're away for, and then all of a sudden they come back and it's like, oh, or if it because there's some people what they call doorstep pirates. Have you heard of them? The people that steal people's packages. I've been watching the thing. I've been watching him. Um, do you know Mark Rober? He's on YouTube. He's the ex NASA guy, and he's do, does YouTube videos now. And he, ever since watching him, I'm like, okay, I'm so glad that I've got like a porch where I can like hide my packages. <laughs> But yeah, anywho. The Grand National used to be in March near my birthday. I wonder if it's later to avoid the rain. Maybe, but it's rainy, isn't it? Send me a link. I want to talk to you. I love Mark Rober. I know it's so good. He's so good. And he's so lovely. Like genuinely lovely. And he's all about the science and the learning. And I love it. Send me a link. I want to talk to you. What, do you want to come on live? Yeah, so this is a Hugo Boss. It's an XL. And it's, it's just a really nice yellow colour, like custard yellow. Right. Got to get through this. Yeah, Got to get through. Ooh, it's empty. Yes, okay, hang on. Let me, uh, let me send, let me try and find, how, how, how do I do it? Um... Let me try and... And the oh invite. There we go. Copy. Um is that right? I think I can send it you through Instagram. Do 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 do. Why is it not working? Oh, there it is. It's working. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Because I'm, I'm trying to copy and paste it and log in on my Instagram on my laptop. Ah, there we go. Done it. Right. Uh, right, where's... Where's Angie gone? Where's she gone? Because you posted something about the live that you had the other day. I'm just going through my messenger. Uh, there's Veronica. Um, where's it? it'd be so much easier if you can kind of like group things together? Oh, there's Fleek. Oh, there's Fleek. <laughs> okay, let me just, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna. I found you, I found your message. There we are. I'll just send you the link. There we go. It's on Instagram. <laughs> I've sent you the link on Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not tech savvy yet. And I still don't particularly like StreamYard. It's a bit kind of... Uh, it's actually quite sad when some jockeys have to... What some jockeys have to do to stay in the game not to mention that yeah it's very sad i wonder if there would be any protesters like last year yeah but the protest is only it only kind of like occurred like a little bit it wasn't really like a big issue at the end of the day was it the majority of them were like save the animals and then it kind of just went away and then there was like one or two that ran onto the tried to run onto the <laughs> onto the field and they got arrested so more more fool them they want to make a splash. Right, it's basically to the charger doesn't work. Oh no. Oh calf, I'm sorry. Okay, so this one is a brand that you might know. It's called Carlo Carlucci. Oh my god, have you heard about Roberto Cavalli? He's died. 
So, and I was like, I had, th I've got three items, three Roberto um, Cavalli items on my shop, and they all got interest yesterday. So I sent out all these offers. I was like, why is someone, is it the same person? And then like throughout this morning, I've been getting kind of bring back the streakers. <laughs> Trust you, Chris. Uh, so yeah, he passed away. I was like, why is it? And then I've looked at the news. I was like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, Carlo Carlucci. Just look up some of the prices that these go for. Insane. And it's quite a nice one. I went to a kilo sale um, a couple of weeks ago and there was one but it was like brown and it was rubbish. It wasn't very good. Like this one was this one's pretty good. If you can make oh, you can't really make that out. Hang on. There you go. Can you see that? It's like a bit bit patterned. So that'll do well in like the winter. Oh, Angie's here. Hang on. Are you, oh, hang on, wait. Have I got you there? There hey! you go. Oh there my gosh. Go. Hi. You all right? Hey. Oh my How gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you got me something from the Hello Kitty Cafe. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, when I mentioned it, you said you, you said I, that I'm you. I'm the daughter. I'm the one who stole the cell phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's the hat? Are you liking the the? Oh, do you hat? like your hat? Your oh, he's the one who got he's the, the one hat that hat got you the E. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he's the one that sent you the E V hat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good. 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 Yeah. Well, I remember recently, so I haven't been able to wear it. All uh, right. It's well, raining, it's fine. So she wasn't wearing it, but yeah. I almost I sold it for myself. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Oh my gosh. I am so tickled that you would do that for me. I'm like, my husband's just like, oh, good Lord. And I'm like, Wee! Whoa, hello, kitty stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I remember like when we were talking about it, you said that you've got, is it Hello Kitty lounge fly stuff? Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've got what, three, three bags? I have three Hello Kitty lounge fly bags. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So, because because I, I, when I was going, I did mention it on that stream before I went to London, and everyone was like, "Oh, like, yeah. like you were like super kind of like excited." So oh, I thought I've got a, to get something. I've got to try and a, find something. There's a um, Hello Kitty bullet train in Japan, and there. my friend got to get on it. I'm like. I don't want to visit Japan, but can I just visit that bullet train? I would just sit in that bullet train and never leave. I'd be like, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> well, this, there was this uh, Hello Kitty Cafe. It was all, it's only on, I think it was only on for like a few weeks because it's a part of this exhibition and it's celebrating the 50th anniversary. Yeah. Um, but there's one in Brighton. There's a cafe in Brighton and that is an actual Hello Kitty Cafe and it's permanent. So. Oh my uh, yeah, so it's, it looks incredible. It really does look incredible. But yeah, the Pezzes will be on on their way oh at some gosh. point this year. Okay, when I get so I am gone until mid May, so don't ship them till after mid May. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah, yeah. Because um, my daughter, she has her own house. She comes. She works for me. She comes on some every other Saturday to come work for me. Oh, uh, right. She helps yeah, me. Do, she's in charge of inventory, so she makes sure that I, <laughs> everything that I list and gets put in the right bins and kind of. <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah if everybody in the chat if you don't know angie runs like it's like a market but like it was it's mainly mondays isn't it but you do other yeah. days as well do you do, other um, days I do as well? yeah i do mondays at 4 p.m central which is american time so i don't know what time that is for you it's like 10 o'clock uk 10 o'clock at night at night yeah <laughs> okay i'm asleep by 10 o'clock at night anyway <laughs> and then tuesday night It'd be 7 p.m. my time, so it's probably like really early in the morning for yeah, you. Yeah, it's like what um, in. I do a show with another girl that I'm friends with. And then um, twice a month, I do a craft show. Where yes, I, I like the craft show. Yeah, I purchased a friend of mine. Her sister died, and she was a crafter, and her whole room was just stamping up and all this stuff. I bought that. And then shortly after that, another friend of mine wanted to give up her business. So she sold me all her stuff. So I have boxes and boxes and boxes down here of my craft stuff. And I just pick a box, I open it up and I start showing it and I sell you find, it. You find lots of like vintagey kind of like knickknacks and like oh, little. Yeah. Like, I just picked I, up I, this I love... one. Oh, go on, show us. I got a preview, guys. One. A little oh. cute baby, ceramic baby shoe. I just picked I that up. I've... I had something very similar. Yeah, this will sell That's on my funny. channel. So yeah, I, I do a lot of knick-knacky stuff, a lot of collectibles, yeah. a lot of plush. I don't do oh, a lot God. in clothes. I know you're good at clothes. I 
I'm not going to like, close it. Like, half my store is closed, but I do like the knickknacks and I love like the the like mini vases and like the bowls and stuff. Because obviously, like where I am in the UK, I'm on the edge of what we call the potteries. And there, that's like where Royal Dalton is. It's where Wedgwood is. It's where all these big kind of pottery houses, so all the little ceramic knickknacks. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of them in our thrift stores like here. We just... <laughs> so many and so i'm i'm really into that so when you come up with like these 70s like kitsch little like, things i'm like oh my god they're so cool <laughs> so yeah, yeah if we, you don't know just very popular can, here yes you, well you can bookmark um what is it the monday market i really like that so um yeah, yeah totally... and i'm at 464 subscribers i'm almost to that's 500 cool. yeah i, I started in september so i think that's pretty good for just starting out that's really good i've just i've just crossed 1500 yeah you're you're like, like yeah. I, I, my goal my dream to be like you well it's, it's taken me a long time to get there but like it, i for some reason this week i've 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 jumped like i think it's like 40 subscribers in like a week wow nice. like, what? yeah just... i'm a newbie but i'm having so much fun i've learned so much i just but i've had my ebay store for well since 20 20 is when it became an official business where we got our business license and everything. Yeah. And um, I did it on a kind of a whim because my job got put on hold because of COVID. And yeah, it was like, yeah. well, what do I do while I'm sitting at home? So I decided to start doing eBay. I paid off our car. I paid off our credit card debt. I paid, I'm like, I'm not quitting this. This is too much fun. And I get to pay off bills. Exactly. So I've been doing it ever since. I love, yes. And I love to shop and find goodies. <laughs> And, and you I go to, I know that you bring your husband to um, the, the executive producer. Yeah. You take him to um, like those thrift kind of emporiums. Uh -huh. That was so cool. That was oh. so cool. You need to do more videos like that. That would be so cool. Well, he is 10 years older than me. So we are from different generations. So he teaches me about stuff from his generation. I learn about stuff from my generation. We have, we banter back and forth really well. He's also <laughs> a really smart good. you know what? Yeah. Let me have a look. What's that? I'm old enough to remember Erica Rowan Rugby. Okay, okay, Chris. <laughs> have I missed some of the chat? If you're talking about rugby and football, oh no. I don't know rugby <laughs> at all. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I have no idea. Although I've got, um, I, I had a bale of t-shirts that I've just checked through, and I've got a year 2000, uh, New York Mets, and what's the New York Yankees? Are that is yeah. that right? The Mets and Yankees. Like, that should go good. That should sell. So you have to ship a lot to America. Do you ship a lot over here? A couple of bits. Like this week, yeah. I've, I've shipped a T-shirt to America with this certain. There's strange brands over here that, for some reason, get picked up in America quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's one called Reese. I don't know if you have that over there, but like for some reason, Reese R E I S S. It it sells. Oh. I sell the majority of my Reese stuff sells to America. Or Japan, weirdly. Oh, that's so, weird. I know it's weird stuff. And I've so, I sold what was it a, t a toy yeah. to America as well? Um, oh, it was a Barney, <laughs> of all things, a Barney toy, a nineties Barney toy. Oh, I sell Barney all the time. Oh, it's was. strange, isn't it? How like yeah. things yeah. get regurgitated. Well, so here in Wisconsin, we have a restaurant, and it's called Culver's, and it's just burgers and custard and just all fattening food. <laughs> and they have little stuffed animals that you can earn with tokens. Oh. Well, I will tell you, I find those things at rummage sales for 50 cents a quarter. Well, I don't know what it is in your money. Mom, Cheap. Kill him. This thing. Oh, I mean, wow. It's a cheese curd, yeah. a cheese curd with legs. Okay. <laughs> so you think those things, I mean, 25 cents, is, I can't keep them. Every time I buy one, I put them in lots of three and they sell for 25, 30 bucks. And I'm just like... Because people outside of Wisconsin that don't have a Culver's want those, and you can only get them in the Midwest here in America. You can't get them in California, New York. So these people pay me. I'm like, it's a stuffed cheese curd that's about a five by five block. Really? So is it basically a state chain? It's not a national chain. It's a state chain. No, We're spreading Culver's. into some of the Midwest a little bit, but it's not like nationwide. Yeah. yeah. And people, they want cheese curd stuffed plushy. I. <laughs> Whatever, I'll pay 50 cents to make 25 bucks. I'm okay with it. Exactly. That's what I'm like. I'm like, why do people, like, I sold a, um, when, in, what was it? I think it was in 2007. 
the UK went from analog to digital in terms of that their television service uh-huh. and to promote it to try and get people talking about it they did this thing with a little robot and the robot android was like a little plush toy I found one for 20p and I sold it for 65 pound which is about what 80 dollars wow. so <laughs> I could and then I I did a Google image search I found the same one on eBay that just said robot plush but because of the image search it was the same one Mm-hmm. And it was two pound fifty, so what, like four dollars? So yeah. I bought that. I had it shipped over. I sold it again, sixty-five pounds. So for like, for like what, five dollars? Well, not five dollars, yeah. like five pounds or like six, seven dollars. I made over a hundred pound. Which... Oh my gosh! It's weird how like little yeah. weird plushes and little things sell for. Well, and I do plush all the time because mm. a lot of the plush. Not the main character of the TV show, but if you find the the cartoon characters that are like the side characters, yes, some of those go for just people crazy. Yeah, like the secondary characters. Today, okay, we was it last summer? I think we 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 won an auction for shelving units, and the stuff on the shelving units because the guy didn't clear it was a what do they call that? A retirement home or a senior center, senior living, whatever, where the people. The place went out of business. Anyway, so I'm ta- we took everything off the shelves. And we're like, what do you want done with this stuff? He says, take it. He says, you bought the shelves and you bought everything on the shelves. I was like, okay. So there's three commercial toilet seat covers. Basically, we got for free because we paid for the shelving. We just sold them for 75 bucks. Something we paid for free. We got 75 bucks. What? He's packing them up. He's packing them up right now. I'm like... So somebody who has that same toilet seat model at their business or whatever, because they're commercial toilet seats, probably went, oh, my gosh, that's super cheap, 25 bucks a piece, because they probably pay a lot more for them. But I'm making 75 bucks off of something free. (laughs) You're happy to let them go for that amount because you got them for free. Right. I'm like, so good. That's why I love this job, because you learn something new every day. And like they just it's just weird things i love the weird things <laughs> me too me too and that's why i named myself things. andy's oddities because i'm an oddball i've always been an oddball um <laughs> i take in all these stray sick and maimed cats that need help i know you do so I much an oddball. <laughs> i marry an oddball <laughs> and- what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, you just used them. Say hi? Last week. Hi. So here's the weird thing. Like, I don't, I'm not a cat person, but cats seem to really like me. Like, they come to me a lot. Yeah, it's like, I don't, I'm a dog person. Like, I like dogs and I prefer dogs, but like, I don't mind cats. I'll pet them and I'll say, okay. But like, okay, I'm like, go away now. <laughs> like, and I think that's why they like me. Because <laughs> I'm like, go away. <laughs> I think so, I've got I've got a cat soul. I think I've got yeah. a cat soul. But, yeah, <laughs> my husband, me. my husband, um, we have a cat in the house here named Phoebe Paganini. And Phoebe <laughs> that, that's so good. and Phoebe is attached to my husband. Like she sits at the office door, even when he's not in the office, she'll sit at the office door and she'll just meow, 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 meow. Like she's dying. <laughs> and like she has to be with my husband so i call i call phoebe his girlfriend i'm like oh your girlfriend's spending time with you again <laughs> his work wife <laughs> yeah his work wife i love it what's that so, those yeah. toys look a lot better than mackie d to- oh yeah yeah so oh, the, the mcdonald's toys yeah but the furbies the little 1980s or 1990 furby toys from mcdonald's if you could get them super cheap I can sell a, a, a group of eight to 10 of those for 25 bucks. Some McDonald's toys aren't worth garbage. I think it's the Shelby's, the, the little shells with the Furbies, the same company, Shelby's. And oh, I, that, I always think Shelby and I always think of Steel Magnolias. Yeah. <laughs> like that movie with Julia Roberts. But um, yeah, the Shelby ones, I thought I, because the, the big ones are worth a lot of money, but the, the little McDonald's ones aren't, aren't actually worth a lot of money over here. But I found one. And I thought I was like, I hit the jackpot. I was like, yes, I've got my first Shelby. And it turned out it was a McDonald's one. So it, was, it went from being like £50 to like £5. I was like, oh, yeah. dang it. I've done that many times. But yeah, I mean, if I can get a, if I can get a deal on something, if I can get something really cheap, even if it's something I've never sold before, 
I'll take yeah, it cool. and I'll do research on it. And I like that because I learn. So well, I'm learning. Kids toys. You asked me for advice since I was into weird stuff as a kid. Yeah. Any, any, yeah, any nineties cool. or 2000 kid toys. I don't know. I shot, you know, Power send a picture Rangers, to my daughter Pokemon, and say, is it, what is this? Yeah. I'm the same. I, do, I must admit that kind of era at the moment is really coming back. Like the, the mid nineties, it like toys, like the, Oh, what's it like the Pokemon and the Digimon? But the Pokemon didn't really go away. But like the weird TV shows, I always feel like DuckTales and she was she's like... a 2000 girl. She was in 2000, <laughs> so she grew up in the 2000s. So anything that I don't know, I just yeah. shoot her a picture. What yeah. is this? I think <laughs> some of the funniest ones have been she sent me photos of of uh Power Ranger Megazords and stuff, and she'll ask me if it's the Voltron Lions because I love Voltron so much, and it's a Power Rangers Megazord, but I love. Power Rangers, they do look <laughs> similar though. Voltron and Power Ranger Megazords do look like similar. Yeah. I'm first generation yeah, Power Rangers. So. She's done it with Transformers. A few Again, times, I don't know the funny. difference. <laughs> <laughs> Any giant mech toy you find, you think it's Voltron. It's like, um, no. Yep. Some yeah, of them I are really good money makers as well. Uh, oh. Some of the prices I paid for those toys when she was a kid. Well, I, I always laugh like my dad, he like I had the first generation Power Rangers, like the big toys, and we used to have the boxes for them and everything. And we had them in our like attic and we had them for, for ages and yeah. I wanted to keep them. I wanted to keep them. But my dad ended up going to like our vision of a flea market and just selling them for like a couple of dollars. And now I show him the prices of how much they go for. And he's like, I can't believe I sold them for so cheap. I was like, I told you. We could have kept them. <laughs> well, so, you know, Star Wars toys from the 70s and 80s. Yeah. They're worth, okay. Well, my I father-in-law don't... has a museum of Star Wars toys in his basement. That's what they collected when my my husband was a kid. Whoa. So the, my husband has said, he had said, when dad passes, we're going to sell all that stuff. We're not going to keep it all. We can't. There's just too much of it. No There's no room. I mean, this is a whole entire basement museum of, I just like, found... one wing of the basement is all... I, I got a couple of weeks ago. I found like I found I had I bought a bag of toys for like five pound, and it had lots of other things in. But I found a Han Solo from 1981. I think that's Return of the Jedi. So I, it was a Return of the Jedi Han Solo. I think it's only over here. It only goes for about ten pound. But I was like, ooh, I found a, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I found an Ewok as well. <laughs> oh, I have my Ewoks. We don't sell the Ewoks. Those are those are teddy bears in my eyes. Those are mine. <laughs> My husband tries to sell them. We don't sell them. Matter of fact, they're up on my shelf over there. So yeah, yeah. It's amazing. What the only thing it. from Star Wars that I actually like the little bears. <laughs> <laughs> so what time is it out by you? It is now. It is twenty to four. Twenty minutes to four. Right. Twenty to four. So like five three, hours four. ahead of us. No, because it's nine forty, ten forty, eleven forty, twelve forty, one forty, two forty, three forty. So yeah, so he's six, six hours, hours. Well, six. six hours yeah. ahead of us. All right, because we're on the you know soon. one of these days because now I've got a passport. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna hop on a plane, plane, mm -hmm. go over there, call it. Okay. Hey George, can you pick me up at the airport? <laughs> Show me around London. Show me what you know. Well, we're in the north. We're Manchester. Where are you so going? So we're in the north. So we're like Manchester. <laughs> but I yeah, but you told me that dress lady that I bought my dress from is two hours from you. So I yeah, wanted to that's get like. If you ever like a little bit down from where I am. My daughter just said, Mom, when you go, can you take me with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Make some money but, first. Tell her to put yeah, it to work. <laughs> but I would love, I mean, I would love to. Now, I'm like, so like this trip to Israel, I'm like really nervous because I don't like the food. But I know I would love UK food. I know I would. So I'm like. We're a okay, bit of a melting pot. People say like we've had, we don't have very nice food, but when they come here, they're like, "Oh, it's actually quite good." It's because we've got so many different influences, and it's like it's yeah. such a, everywhere you go, there's there's a different kind of like style of food and different cultural food. So we're a bit we're a melting pot. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where you go; you can go to whatever city in the UK or whatever town, small towns in the UK. It's the same. You can. The, I tell you what, though, the one good thing. Go to just a, if you end up going, it's a quintessential pub Sunday lunch. Uh, Basically, think Thanksgiving, but we have it every Sunday. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a there's an American. Is it David Harbour, the actor? He's married to Lily Allen, the singer, and she's British, and so he lives over here now. He's hop, he's hopper out of Stranger Things. He's like the big tall guy, and um, he said he said that he said we we have Thanksgiving once a year and we plan it. And then yeah. we talk about it afterwards. You guys have it every weekend. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. Wow. Like oh, my husband likes that idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of an institution as well. Right? Yeah, like, I was told when I go to Israel, you got a choice of falafel or what? Like, there's two different ones that you can choose from. That's pretty much what all they make. I'm like, oh, great. Every day, the same food. <laughs> but falafel's nice. Like 15, 15 days and 15 days. Well, what is it? 11, 12 days and... In Israel and then four days in Greece. Oh, fabulous. Where in Greece are you going? I don't know. It's Athens. some cruise. Athens. Athens. And oh, then we get on a cruise and the do the islands. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Because I went to um, Cyprus a couple of years ago and they'd have like a cruise that went to Israel. But I think there was like, there was something going on in that area. So I'd ended up doing, not going in the end. But like, I really wanted to go. But, um, but yeah, I think. Uh, Greece is lovely. Greece is lovely. Bye, Mark. Nice to meet is Mark you. Going? Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice oh, Andrew's in. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. I've, I've neglected the chat. Sorry. <laughs> Rhodes is beautiful. I'm excited. Yes, I'm going to get Hello Kitty stuff. I had to come on and say thank you. <laughs> I just no, had it's to. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. I've, um, I've is it Lindos? Is that how you say it? You guys, I'm an American. You're going to have to help me with the pronunciations yeah Rhodes is lovely L a chance to visit lindos oh i've never heard of that Rhodes is beautiful oh, okay well, well yeah maybe athens is it, fly over there i can stay with you for a little while and then you can show me some <laughs> of the little hotels in the area and i can stay at the little hotels and i don't know the b &Bs. <laughs> i love yeah, b &Bs. it's it's an I experience b are the same as england bsbs but i'll tell you i love yeah, Mary. you guys do B&Bs to a whole different level, I think. I think our B&Bs okay. are very tiny, very, very tiny. Okay. <laughs> but, like, your B&Bs are like hotels, I feel. Like, they're really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's uh, there's, lo there's lots of lots of things to do. And it's oh, like... It... Bleeding? No. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I want to make sure she's okay. There's lots of things to do. Like, if you, like, London is its own thing. I think London is a bubble. Yeah. Think of it as like New York. New York is just New York. It's like its own bubble. Right. It, but it's not the whole of the United States. There's so much. Right. It's the same right. with the UK. There's lots of different places. Like where they made that dress of yours, that Gloucester is gorgeous. Is it? The, the cathedral oh, and like the city a, is gorgeous. There's a castle up there, Thornton or Thor. Is it Thor Thor uh, But that's but probably, where she that's where she gives tours. Oh, so you can cool. rent. You can go up there, rent one of her costumes, and do a whole day in that castle. With you get to do an uh, falconer. You get to hold oh, onto yeah. the falcon. You get to have a big mass dinner, like a big feast. Wow. You get all this stuff, and she puts it on. Oh, so it's like castle. a total immersion. It's like an immersive yeah, kind of experience. Oh, that oh, world. Nice. Now, obviously, I'm not out there, but I saw the dresses, and I was like, "Would you do one for an American?" She goes. Well, I've never done one before. She goes, I usually have you there so I can measure you. So I went to a I went to a seamstress out here and had her do my measurements. And then I sent them there. And then she would send me pictures online. So it's like, okay, we've got this fabric, this fabric, this fabric. What do you want to do? Um, yeah, it was that was my Christmas present and my birthday present one year, because that was expensive. But um, yeah, I played Lady Stillwell at Bristol Renaissance Fair for years. And then um uh then um uh, with this dress i haven't played any any characters i just wanted a queen's dress because i wanted to be fancy just because i was well, well, and i'm you old i mean i got dress. the money now so i got a queen's dress so exactly. yeah yeah so I'm, I'm i'm spoiled rotten i admit <laughs> it kind of like glamas we admit we're spoiled rotten but yeah well, there you go you need yeah. to be spoiled <laughs> yeah so berkeley castle Ooh. Ooh. Where's that one? Oh, I want to visit castles, you guys. Just take me to all the castles. I'll be happy. You know, Warwickshire Castle, that's like the big one that I can think of. Like, But that's very touristy. Warwickshire is Castle is very, yeah, it's very touristy. It's a bit, 
Mm. It's a bit commercial. Okay. But it is fun. It is fun. Okay. But it's very kind of they have a lot well, on. I can't even pronounce that word. Gloucester. Gloucestershire. What is it? Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Yeah, Gloucestershire. Oh, I'm it's, just uh, my interpreter when I'm in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Castle, that's quite nice. But that's all the way up in Scotland. <laughs> There's one, we're, yeah, we'll go to Scotland. I'll go there too. That's fine. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Cool. Like, if we end up like using our passport and going over there at some point, like, I, I want you to like give me a list of the places I should see, not just the toury stuff that everybody sees, but the stuff that you think are things that are off cool. the beaten track and cool. Yeah, and that's what we're doing in Israel. We hired, so there's 17 of us going and the man that's our tour guide has been there 90 times. Like it's his oh second God. home. So he transfers between United States and he lives United States and Israel. You know, he, he lives oh in both God. places. And so he's going to take us to places that most people don't get to see. I mean, yes, we're going to go to the tourist things, the Wailing Wall and the Temple Mount, yeah. but he like, he knows like places where there's waterfalls and uh, like a park that most people don't go to that we can play in the water and, I mean, there's all these places he's going to take us that you don't you don't normally you, like. If you're a tourist in Israel, you don't get to see. Are you going to the sea where you can float on? The, yes, is it, the the, was, is it the Black Sea? Sea. Yeah, Dead Sea. Dead Sea. Dead sea. Dead sea. That's it. I yeah. wanted to go there as well, but I can. And then um, the Jordan River, or yeah, Jordan River. So we wow. can be baptized in the Jordan River, the same the same river Jesus was baptized in. And then we're going to, we can't go up to Caesarea Philippi because that's too close to the Gaza Strip area where there's the turmoil. So we're skipping that right. area and we're skipping right along where Egypt is, but we're going to be pretty much central in there. So yeah. we'll do, we'll oh, do so that. There's, there's a lot to do. And if you're oh, there yeah. for two weeks, it's. Yeah, we'll be there you're for. You're to Tel Aviv as well. Oh, I've we're flying Tel into Tel Aviv. We're flying into Tel Aviv. So. Yeah, I wouldn't um, mind going to Tel Aviv. That looks like it's a, it looks like a stunning city. Like yeah, how they've done it. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Uh, Kathy so says Durham. Right Durham. We're right now. We're a go. The travel. The trip is going to go. But with Iran saying they're going to throw a couple bombs over, we'll see. Maybe they'll. I just. I mean, I'm like, don't cancel now, please, because yeah. I took off my work. I took those two weeks. I can't get those two weeks back. So I'd like. I'd have to wait till 2025 then to go. So I've been have waiting time for a while, so it's like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God. Because it, it was quite a bit of money, and there's two of us going. So it's like, yeah. oh. I mean, I have travel insurance, but. It's not the same, is it, though? It's like you plan it, and you look forward to it, and it's like, oh, I really want to go. Like Me and my mum were going to see Adele in Munich in August, the, the last weekend in August, and it's like she's got a kind of, she doesn't cancel all the time, but she did have a bit of, throat trouble like laryngitis and she oh. did cancel a couple of shows like a few years ago and i'm scared that <laughs> she's gonna cancel but it's that's for any sort of if you go to a concert that's right it's, I mean, anything can happen but anything like she, happen. yeah and Link it's the last the day of the, uh, Lincoln, the, 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 yes. is that cool yeah that one's good lincoln's very nice durham's, durham's lovely that's a very, I think that's got the one of the oldest, uni, I think it is the oldest university in the U, UK. I think it even beats Oxford. Wow. I think it's actually older than Oxford. So the Durham, do you consider Durham. yourself in England or do you consider yourself in UK? What's the difference? Oh, I'm, I, well, I we're know, both. American question. No, we're both, we're both. United Kingdom is like the Wales and Scotland oh, and no. Northern Ireland. But, but like, in we're, we're in England, yeah. So we're English, exactly. but. Or British, whatever you want to call it. I, I'm easy. I know, <laughs> questions because I, you know, yeah, I've never, I've never geopolitics for me is like over my head. Yeah, me <laughs> we're in a cycle right now because our president is going to, we're going to be voting for our president in November. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, oh, pick which evil, which evil do you yeah. want to pick? <laughs> the lesser of two. I think that our, our kind of like system at the moment, everybody's sick of the current, current kind of administration, but they just don't know who to pick because we're so kind of just like, Ugh. we're so yeah, numb so to it now. Right. We're numb to everything. It's like, okay, Ugh. so Kathy says I'm English, but I live in Great Britain. What is, what is the yeah. difference? Well, yeah, it's the same. Well, we live in England, but okay. some people like say like Great Britain, UK, British, you know, it's the same thing. Like we have the Union Jack. But the union is like made up of different flags of like Wales, Scotland, England. So 
Yeah. My husband's going, yep, yep, yep. And I'm going, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> well, one of those I weird things. I to go and get back to work. I got to get back to work. I don't want to keep it right, forever. Yes. I just wanted well, to thank you, George. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. No, it's yeah, fine. So It'll, I'll try and plan it. So I'll, I'll I'll send them like the last week in May. So That's they'll probably fine. get to you around midsummer. <laughs> and I will definitely do a video for it. Those <laughs> in Wales don't say we live in England. Okay. Yes. So you're okay. You guys have <laughs> to teach well. me. I would love to learn all this. I'm like so excited. <laughs> when I found out that I that Glam's got me in in connected with George, I'm like, George, you're gonna get a lot of stupid questions, but I really want to learn. So I've been asking him a lot. Fine. I'm sure he's like. This crazy old lady, what the heck? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. But I, I get questions learn, all the time. So, so, so but thank you so much. Well, and thank you, thank you. And hi, chat. Sorry I took up his time. You guys can go back to chatting <laughs> with him. I just wanted to thank him. I'm so excited. Thank you, George. No problem. Bye. Get hey, back to work. Bye. I got to get back to work. Love you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. I've got, um, I'm going to, oh, oh, what did I have? I had something. Oh, here we go. So I getting back to the uh, the kilo sale stuff. I got a Woolrich, which is kind of like it's quite big in America, funnily enough. Woolrich over here, it's a bit kind of like 50 50. There it is. Woolrich, and it's a double X. Oh, gosh, you can't see. <laughs> the light in here is so kind of like bad. Hang on. What if I turned this like that? There we go. Can you see that? It's like a wool rich double XL, nice long sleeve. Although it is coming out of season now. So I don't know, we'll have to see. This, I wanted to show you this. This is a um this is a, a German brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Mears, Mears, M-A-E-R-Z. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you how much they go for on uh what's it? So this is just this is an Argyle. So it's very in the season because there's lots of golf championships coming out. But this is a plain one, £35.99p. And I paid per item £2.80. So that's pretty good. I think it's an XL, this. 54, yeah, it's like an XL. So a nice Argyle, golfy-ish mirrors. <laughs> uh, Angie, you are not enough to be a crazy old lady. <laughs> Sorry, let me just uh oh I love iced tea. Right, where am I? So that was a brand I just wanted to show you because I found that and I nearly screamed. I was like, I knew I was onto a winner. I was like, yes. So yeah, really happy with that brand. Um what's this one? Oh, this is diesel. Workwear, love and peace, diesel industry. It's a poppered diesel. And it's linen. It's 100% linen diesel shirt. And it's gorgeous. It looks like a, just a normal kind of like Wrangler kind of shirt. But it's linen. Light blue linen. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to sort out some light in up here because it's really dark. Here's okay, actually. Some here. Oh, this is kind of for me. <laughs> so I bought this for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I bought this for me. But at the same time, I probably won't be able to wear it until like the winter. It's a Wrangler shirt, and it's a long sleeve Wrangler shirt, but it's it's got like fur lined. Can you see that? It's like Sherpa lined, and it's like a shacket. But it's a three XL shacket, so it's like for me. It's near, it looks really comfy. I can't wait to wear it. But I don't know. They go for decent money online, so. I don't know. I'm considering size it. I don't know. I think I might keep it. Two pound eighty, guys. Two pound eighty. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, right, where is it? Where's oh, those? That's what I've got for me. Oh, this is good. This is good, and this is good. So this tie. Oh, so you can't really see it. It's a bit far away. If we get closer, can you see it? It's like spotty. It's like polka dots. Can I, does anybody know that? 10 points to anybody who recognises that brand. It's the old kind of signia. It is Givenchy. Givenchy. <laughs> uh, it's Givenchy Paris, made in France, and it's silk. It's a silk tie. 
just a silk tie, you know. <sighs> but it's like polka dot in two different kind of like sizes. Really nice. I think they don't go for a lot of money though, but there's some you can get anywhere for between like seven and 30 pounds. I think the lower value ones say Gavinci Paris, but then it says made in England. This one, this one is actually made in France. So that's the one you want, the made in France, because it's Gavinci Paris made in France. There is Gavinci Paris made in England. That's not the one you want. This one you want. <laughs> but yeah, so really happy that I think I could I'll put it up for maybe 30 and get anywhere between 20 and 30 for that. So that's nice for just a, a, a one item that's really light. And I've got the, from the heaviest item of that Sherpa, that's the heaviest item. And then this is the lightest item. <laughs> so I'm happy. I don't even know how, I'm not doing a running total either of these, these things. Oh, sorry, I was going to burp then. I do apologise. <laughs> is this is, iced tea? It's gorgeous. Um, super combed cotton, Gant. It's a large and it's coral. It's like a coral colour. Right. I say coral, but some people think it's salmon. I think this is more coral because it's orange. If it's more orange, it's coral. And if it's more pink, it's salmon. That's how I work it. Would never have gotten that. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I think it's just because I am I nerd out over Givenchy stuff. Because I've only ever found one piece. And that's a t-shirt that I ended up selling for nearly, I think it was nearly £100. I think it was £80. Pound. But um, yeah. That's my second Givinci piece. So. That looks too orange to be. Yes, thank you, Kath. Thank you. Yeah, I think if it's more on the orange side, it's coral. But if it's pinkier, but not too pink, if it's a pinky orange, that's salmon. But yeah, this is definitely coral, I feel. I don't know if it actually has it, because sometimes Gant does have like some good... It has the name, doesn't it? Do, 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 do. No, no, it doesn't have the color, but yeah, never salmon, way too, too orange. Yes, thank you, thank you. See, I'm glad we've come to a consensus because it's kind of like, oh, is it teal or is it turquoise or is it cerulean? We don't know. Miranda Priestley knows. Okay, here's another weird brand. It's called, it's called Royal Class Selection. Now, I'm going to look this up. It needs proper... Oh, hang on. Pause, pause all things. I've got an offer. Okay. Oh, and also, <laughs> there's an item of mine that's been featured on the Depop front page. Why is it... What's it? There we go. So one of my items is featured on the front page. I got a notification. <laughs> which I'm really pleased about. Hang on, wait, let me try and find it. Uh, Royal Class. Selection. Silk. And cashmere. Okay, let's see if I've got anything. There. Ah, here we go. Royal Class Selection. Over £48. Okay, these are listed prices. Let me have a look at actual solds. <laughs> £21. £39. Tw oh, that's Ralph Lauren. Where is it? Royal class, £28. Yeah, so uh, probably between £25 and £35. It's a very, it needs debobbling. Or sorting out, there is a lot of kind of like bubbly kind of wear, but it's gorgeous. Was the offer decent? Yeah, it was fine. It was for a plush. <laughs> oh, I got this because I love getting these things. It's like American all over Stars and Stripes. I, the brand is called Crazy Horse, a Liz Claiborne company. 
oh my god they had this really cool shirt that i wanted in my size but they didn't have it obviously in my size it was like a medium <laughs> crazy horse liz blouse i'm gonna put blouse let's see if it oh there we go 25 pound 15 pound 10 pound 25 pound also a bit all over the place let's have a look at salts <laughs> this is why i love kilo sales you can pick out some weird and wonderful brands yeah so this is um I think it's a medium yes it's a medium so like angie said it's in an election year so maybe if i get it up before the 4th of july maybe an american might want that who knows we'll see how old do you think i am well with a grown-up daughter you've got to be at least 25. <laughs> Definitely way younger than me. Uh -huh. uh, Ralph Lauren, large, and it's called, just to, to add insult to injury, the skinny polo. So only skinny people allowed at Ralph Lauren. But it's another yellow. I'm trying to get brighter colours. It's got the little jockey there. There we go. Um, I'm trying to get brighter colours for my shop. So, is that? Oh, I'm on the last bag now. Oh, I got this. This is really nice. It's brandless. It doesn't have a brand in there. There's, it doesn't actually say anything. It's got like care label. It's cotton. It's like a brushed cotton, but it's got like an aztec -y kind of print. Isn't that? Oh, no. Can you see? There we go. It's like blue aztec -y kind of print. It's really nice shirt. I think it's like an XL. It's either a large or an extra large. But it's a really nice, like, Aztec print, very in right now. I'm really liking that. I wish it was my size. <laughs> it's not. Um, and I was I was trying to focus on summery, short sleeve, linen. So I got a summery, Levi, medium, poppered, <laughs> pearl, pearl snap. <laughs> but it's linen and it's yellow. So I've been trying to get summery kind of colours. And then I saw like a grey colour one and I couldn't leave that behind. <laughs> I quite like the grey. Um, slim fit, Levi, but this is an extra large popper. This is a more newer one. That's an older one. This is a new one. It's very nice. It's got the pearl snap buttons. Just these are bread and butter stuff for me. If you can get them for £3 or under, that's amazing. Um, oh. This is a Wrangler. This is a 2XL snap button. And I think this is, is this, hang on. Let me try and find the care label. Where is it? Where's the care label? There it is. I think, oh no, this is cotton. It felt like linen, but no, this is cotton. It's nice though. Another orangey red, kind of bright summery color. Uh, oh, I got another one. Does anybody know this band? This is another one. I am the eagle in the sky. Oh, the shapeshifter. I'm on Amroth. I'm sure that's like, and it's got like a like a Indian or Celtic print. I'm sure that's it's on a Gildan tag. I'm on Amroth. That's either a band or like I don't know, like a god, like one of those maybe a Native American god things. God things, that's so... Hello, George, hi, and chat. Hi, Limelight, how are you? Love that Aztec. I know it's gorgeous, like very aztec -y. Um, That's too intrusive. But yeah, it's, it's lovely. How are you, Limelight? I'm just finishing up. This is the last one now, the last item. And it's in typical... I've actually sold this before for, I think it was 25. The exact same one. Uh, Wrangler Authentic Western XL Poppered Pill Snap Long Sleeve. What's it? Is it? It says XL, but it's more of a double XL. There we go. In fact, yeah, it's more of a double XL. I've sold this a couple of times um, in the past. It's like a vintage, it's not vintage, I think it's like early noughties, early to mid noughties, which is vintage now, which is kind of scary. 
but I'm an Amrap is a Swedish melodic death metal. There we go. So I've got one of their t-shirts. I'm sure I've sold one of their t-shirts before. Sammy Hall. Hi. Reminds me of a TV series. Think it was was Hope the sequel to Vampire Diaries. Oh, so like, oh, what was the sequel to Vampire Diaries? Was it the the Ancients or something like that? The origin the originals. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've read the first, I think the first four books of The Vampire Diaries. They're, they are nothing like the series. <laughs> I kind of stopped watching the series after like the, I think the third series of Vampire Diaries. I need to get back into it. I, I kind of fell out of it and then I watched a couple of ser like later series and I was like, who are they? <laughs> But yeah, nice typical bread. There was a, that's what I like about kilo sales. You can pick up a lot of bread and butter for dirt cheap, but you can also pick up things that you wouldn't find usually, or like you can take a punt because they're so cheap. You can take a punt on stuff. That Merz Merez uh, jumper there is gorgeous, and I'm so glad I found it. That was on my bucket list, and I found it. And it's um, it's a German brand. I think it's actually from Munich. And it's gorgeous brand. I think it's like over, I think it's like a hundred to two hundred pound like brand new, like RRP. Hi, Jilly B. How are you? You are tearing up YouTube. You are you are on fire. <laughs> oh, I've run out of I've run out of iced tea. Actually, I've got plenty of ice. I've just run out of tea. So yeah, now I've got to um I've got all my fleek stuff that I need to wash and iron. And I think what I might do is I might iron some of this stuff as well, because I don't want to it just actually some of it, it's all clean. It's all been cleaned. I can smell like it's all it doesn't smell of musk or anything like that or anything dirty. It actually it's all looks like it's been clean. It just doesn't look like it's been washed very well, um, ironed or anything like that. So I just basically need to iron it. There's no marks as well. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my with my item. I spent sixty pound on all of that. All of that was sixty pound. So it works out two pound eighty per piece. If I can make like a minimum ten pound on them, I've made over two hundred and fifty pound, which is great. But we know that some of them will go for thirty pound. So there's two items in there that will actually yeah, there's two items that will pay for the lot for all of it. So yes, ten pound. Oh. Your shop is going to be on fire. Well, I hope so. I'm trying to get a lot more summery kind of things. I'm trying to get a lot more caps, t-shirts, uh, brighter colours, just for to pick up the tail end of spring into summer. Um, a lot of band tees, obviously. They're they're black usually with like a nice print on it, but. Oh, it's cracking that Amara Amara t-shirt. We'll see. I got a refund from Timo already. Yeah, they usually are quite good. Right time to shop. <laughs> uh, my daughter is 23, so we may be closer than you think. Ah, there you go. Uh, I am Maximus has won the Grand National. Oh, oh my I bet my dad has won the Grand National then because he loves that. I am Maximus. Maximus Decimus Meridius. Strength and honor. Uh, he loves that movie, Gladiator. Right, I'm going to have to check what uh, horses I've got. <laughs> oh, my God. And they've dropped on Netflix the second series of Heartly Heartbreak High. And I'm obsessed with Heartbreak High. I loved the old 90s version. I grew up with the 90s version. It was on BBC Two, <laughs> usually just before Neighbours. I loved it. Uh, right, I've been on over an hour now, so I've got lots of work to do. I've still got I've got a video to edit. I want to put that out tomorrow morning. <sighs> I'm going to be tired. I've got um, I'm going to two car boots tomorrow. That should be fun. Um, yeah, in fact, I might make it three car boots. It depends on how I feel. I might make it three car boots. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a challenge tomorrow. I'm I'm only taking out a certain amount of money. So we'll see. 
But um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. You know how sometimes you just have to like oh, look at all your stuff and then think, oh God, I've got to list it. <gasps> Andrew, if you're still in, you're like that. You you get big bales of stuff. God. Some of the stuff that you put up on your uh, what's it? You go through so much stuff. I'm well impressed. But yeah, so that's all, all my haul. I'm going to go edit a video now. <laughs> Lots of content the next week then. Yes. Well, hopefully I'm going to put a video out on Sunday. Um, and I'm hoping I might put out a deep dive video. <laughs> That's been sat in my done box for like probably since around Christmas. It's like New Year. So hopefully I'm going to try to put out a deep dive video on Monday. I'm not buying anything else ever. Anyone wants a hoarder's living room full of stuff? <laughs> no, I, I'm good with my hoarder's reseller kind of garage. Right. I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, thanks for letting me stop by. No, it's fine. It's fine. Those things will be probably with you around summertime. <laughs> but yes, thank you everybody for stopping by. Um, and keeping me company. And yeah. Oh, good. I'll be honest if anybody wants to chat. You don't have to, just saying. I'm around. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everybody. And take care.